Welcome to another neighborhood training session. Uh, this week we will be focusing on the Nye's Neck area of North Falmouth off of uh, Wild Harbor Road just up the street from Station 3. A relatively smaller neighborhood than some of the other um, areas like New Silver Beach or Valley Mead. It's a smaller area. We'll have a shorter presentation here. Um, the primary um, hazard that we have in this area is uh, single-family dwellings. There are no businesses, no accessory apartments in this area here. So our main um, focus here is on single-family dwellings. Um, I believe by taking a ride through the whole area, they are all wood frame, as far as I can tell. Um, they do range from approximately 1,000 square feet on up to probably 5,000 and perhaps over 7,000 square foot. Um, down at the end on Point Road, um, there were some very large old shingle style homes um, that yeah, are definitely going to pose a challenge for us on firefighting and also on uh, rescue. Um, so why don't we start out and take a uh, quick look right in here on the, in the Point Road at the very end of uh, Wild Harbor. Um, and once again, these this um, Google image here was taken during the summertime, so we do have our trees out and so forth. But um, just to kind of give us a idea of you know where we're talking about what we're talking about um, this is the very uh, point road ends up in a uh, cul-de-sac right here and obviously there's a uh, very large home right at the end these homes here are all all very large uh, with a little bit of a setback here and there and uh, we'll work our way back uh, down Point Road, and you see some of these homes like this one here. It may not look large uh, on this presentation, but as you drive by, you really get a feel of um, how hard, uh, large they are. And uh, we'll actually, this house here actually is the uh, Noonan uh, home here, and as you can see from here, it seems to be pretty large, and I'll have a photograph for it in a little while. And I'd probably say it's one of the larger homes out there, and it's, you know, going to really rival around the 7,000 square foot area. So we are going to have a challenge there as far as uh, firefighting. Uh, right across from here, we do have a public um, access to a beach right in here, right at the end. Uh, this is the this is the pillars to uh, the beginning of Point Road. And Wild Harbor runs down, and then uh, Point Road begins right in here. So that's where the numbers will change from Wild Harbor to Point. Um, and we'll see around here, we do have all these larger homes um, right around this area here. And some of them do have long access roads into the house, like this one here, particularly long. And uh, as you drive up in this area, and one of the things I'll point out later on is it shows on the water department maps that this is a six inch main running out to a point road. And there, um, by the look of the hydrants there, they are pretty old. It's probably a pretty old main. So we are going to be challenged as far as water delivery, I, w I would think. I wasn't able to access the um, gallons per minute of the hydrants down there. I'm going to have to try and find some uh, reference material for that, but if I do, I'll let you know one of the things we're challenged uh, by. Um, 
you know, we'll just take a quick little overview of the uh, Nye's Neck neighborhood here just to get the, lay the general layout of the Nye's Neck uh, neighborhood here. This is what we're talking about here. We have Wild Harbor um, coming up, as I mentioned before, from Station 3. And uh, this is the main entry road coming in. This is the only uh, access road into this uh, Nice Neck area. All of the maps will show, including a dispatch, and this is where dispatchers have to be alert and know um, this stuff as well as the uh, Station 3 personnel and every one of us, that the maps will show here that Lauren Road comes off of um, Wild Harbor. But you need to know that this um, Lauren Road is blocked off with boulders. So we will not be able to access Lauren Road. Uh, there is, however, we'll, we'll show um, there is a secondary dirt road access uh, to the neighborhood. I would say, say for instance, uh, you know, main entry road became blocked because of some sort of, you know, I don't know, a, you know, tanker truck or whatever. Um, when we did need to get people out in a secondary way, there is a dirt road that runs through, through here and right out to uh, Wild Harbor, and it does access right through over to Westwood. So just something to be aware of. Um, so main entry is going to be our main, our main shot in. Uh, right up here and we will come right up uh, our first left will be Downer and uh, Downer will is one of the longer roads in here and does run all the way down you know the length of development so it's going to be one of our main roads that we're going to need to know and then at the end of Downer comes Westwood and Westwood is our other loop road that runs all the way up perimeter road uh, runs all the way down uh, the entire uh, neighborhood uh, right to a terminus right here of a, a dead end here and from there this little uh, road here is Beach Rose Lane and then we have Alden Drive that cuts right through here And the other cut through we have is Overhill Road. And then Arch kind of loops around here. And uh, then we have Lauren Road. And then up in the corner here we have uh, Sunset Point Road up here. And we do have a lot of larger homes in that area as well. So I'm just pointing out the tennis courts, a little uh, C-shaped home there. You know these um, all have uh, water frontage, and they're obviously high-value homes. But um, one of the other things we do have to be uh, considered of is their um, with our prevailing south um, westerly wind, or anyone for that fact out of the uh, west you know we get anything over 25 miles an hour is going to affect the fire spread in the building but also f affect the ability of the hose streams so uh, as many uh, will attest the different fires um, down in Gansett Road and down Penzance Point Road years ago that the winds surely um, do affect it uh, also off of Westwood we have West End Court. Um, then you'll also notice on all the maps that we have all these second shoreways. This is the first shoreway down here. So it just runs uh, around on Westwood. This is the first shoreway, second shoreway, third shoreway, so on and so forth. Um, I don't believe there are any houses that are actually addressed uh, shoreway, but uh, we'll check when we go to some of the other maps. But 
these are just little access roads to the water that these people are uh, using as that. All right. Um, we'll just take a quick shot here to this town of Falmouth map. This is the one that's on the uh, town of Falmouth uh, website. And no great, uh, you know, no great issue here. Just wanting to point out, uh, you know, houses that are there. This is a good description. They're showing some of the uh, roads in the driveways and so forth. And here is uh, where it says the six inch. Uh, CI stands for cast iron, so a six inch cast iron uh, main. So I would imagine that's probably being an older main, it's probably a lot smaller. It's probably a probably four inch and so forth. But then we we'll just run down point. And here's where we'll we'll uh, mention here this is where the, the pillars are going to be for uh, the end of Wild Harbor and the beginning of Point here, but there will be the pillars. This is that beach access, and as I mentioned before, that little uh, mentioned the secondary kind of dirt road access into the main entry. Here it is. Here uh, it is navigable, but it is. Um, I'll show you some pictures of it. It is, uh, you know, treed in a little bit. Um, and here's you know some of our other issues that we're going to have to be aware of here. Here we do have a long driveway. We won't, we won't get the we won't get a good shot, a good look at this house here. So we get a report of a fire here. We obviously are going to want to catch the hydrant here and then uh, lay in, but it's going to be quite a bit, quite a long lay. Uh, and here showing once again this is the map showing the Lauren Road the water system through there which this is blocked off so we have um, you know, water throughout it when we see this uh, two inch that's basically just a domestic supply to this uh, west end court here these houses up here so there wouldn't be any uh, hydrant system off of that but that's just what you know we're showing to supply those homes up there but there we go, it just kind of shows us you know, the networks that are there and also that we do have hydrants that exist. So, and the interesting thing here, particular interest, but it is tied in uh, right through here at the end of Westwood. Um, it's tied right in so we do get, we don't have a uh, to the seascape neighborhood we don't have a dead end system through here everything is looped which is going to give us a nice uh, nice flow even though it is six inch for a, um, I, this is probably a newer system than the six inch out on point road okay um, no great uh, change there this is basically just the GIS map uh, with no real no great change on that, just uh, showing the different uh, ways we go about it. This is the one that will show up on the dispatch map. And um, So that's what we got there. Okay. Um, I want to, uh, why don't we go here, why don't we go to um, some of the photographs that I'm going to show uh, where we are. And let's go to this one first. This is the uh, entry uh, gate or pillars to Point Road. So, you know, as we drive up, we'll know that that's the change over from Point, from Wild Harbor is here and Point is up over there. Um, 
Next, we'll go to uh, this little spot over here to the left is the public landing, public access to the water. It, we could probably launch the whaler or we could probably launch the Zodiac uh, if we needed to from here. There is a pretty good um, um, access point right to uh, Wild Harbor right from there. Perhaps if we had a dive operation or a recovery operation or uh, we had an oil spill situation and we're looking for access points, this one here would be a pretty good one right there and that's right at the end of uh, right by point. Um, oh, I want to show this here. Um, this is, huh, no, that's not the one I was looking at. <laughs> um, We'll show that one a little bit. Sorry about that. This is the one I wanted to show better off here. This is the uh, hydrants that we're looking at on point in Wild Harbor. I don't know how much we're going to get out of that, but we'll have to do the best we can. But for pump operators, we'll have to really keep an eye on it. And with that type of a hydrant, we're looking at uh, battling this house here. No sprinklers. This house here is uh, probably a good 5,000 square foot. And uh, right here there's kind of a uh, drive-through entryway. So um, we're going to have some work to do there if we do get a fire in this building here. Our best bet there is to try and uh, contain it. If we have some involvement in this end is trying not to get it to travel all the way through here. Trying and uh, cut it off right in here and uh, kind of give us some, that's a uh, big hope there I would get. Um, let's see. I apologize, I'm trying to read in the dark here. Okay, let's try this one here. This is another uh, large home. This is the Noonan residence. And uh, so we not only have a wood shingled home, probably a good 5,000 square foot, but we also have a three car garage. And uh, we also have this little uh, simulated windmill over in the corner. But not only that, but we, as we pull up, we would probably try to uh, get this little gas pump here. <laughs> I'm sure it's just a, uh, you know, kind of a uh, display purpose here. But uh, don't uh, think we would be protecting that if we actually had a fire. Um, but, and that's where I uh, also found this interesting little character here in the backyard. <laughs> so needless to say we won't be catching that hydrant way in the backyard, but uh, we could have a boat fire on the land. <laughs> so just the little things that get you when you're out driving around. Um, let's see now. Why don't we go to, okay, why don't we show this road, this, uh, I was talking about that little dirt road, a little cut through uh, to go to Westwood Road. This is it here. It's off of uh, Wild Harbor. It doesn't look like much here, but as you travel down this dirt road, you will get into the back area of Wild Harbor. And um, it also down in here, where the pointer is down in here is another uh, another older home and that house is this one here if I have it right yep is this little cottage here is down that dirt road half part way through it's a uh, older home and in fact it is older. It's uh, built in 1889. Kind of a cute little place. 
This is really interesting. Okay. Um, we showed the beginning of Point Road, and we'll also, at the very end of Wild Harbor, there's also some uh, pillars here. It's still on Wild Harbor, but for some reason the residents there at this certain point of Wild Harbor wanted to put up their own little pillars to try and um, break down the quote-unquote public area of Wild Harbor and, and, and uh, put this into a more private uh, residential part of Wild Harbor. And I don't know if it had anything to do with um, this, but these folks here all have their names. So we will also we'll be looking for num house numbers, but these folks will also have the names and all kinds of little names there. I thought this one here was kind of interesting. I wonder if that's the Mr. Sokolov from television fame. All right, and okay, so we we're talking about Lauren Road being blocked off. Well, here we are. Here's uh, is Lauren Road right on Wild Harbor. And uh, we have a little bench here, and we have two big boulders, and the space is uh, big enough to walk through or get a golf cart through, but we're not going to get anything else through. And uh, here's a little down a road sign in the back way. So if uh, we're looking to get up there, that's not going to be the way to go. All right. Just little things you have to know, being a firefighter and uh, responding on the ambulance. This is the entrance to Nye's Neck this nice neck neighborhood anyway which is nice they have a nice little sign over here to let us know that it is nice neck and there's good signage throughout nice sign here Whoop, we're getting a little blurry there but it'll come in there we come right in okay let's say show us the main entry road and as we mentioned before main entry road goes straight down straight in and we have uh, down a road on the left, and then when we come way down the end, we'll be at Westwood. Okay. Um, one of the other things I'll point out here, and we'll see this in Nye's Neck, we'll also see it in the seascape development, that there's been a lot of um, teardowns in rebuilding and more so in the Nye's Neck neighborhood, the Seascape neighborhood still has some smaller homes, um, but it is being changed over as well. And this is one of the things that we'll see in both of the neighborhoods. Here's a nice little uh, ranch style home that still exists. Well, right next to it, they've built a uh, relatively new three-story new mini mansion or McMansion right next to it so we will have a building here that has triple triple the fire load that this building here has and we do have uh, this is probably pretty solidly built but this building here being older uh, is probably has um, a lot more uh, structural stability to it than this building here because a lot of the buildings, the newer buildings, are being built this way. And I know that everybody probably is well aware of it, but this is one of the things we'll be touching on at some one of our training uh, sessions here. He's well aware this is the plywood I-beam. This is a house that's being built. It were, there was a tear down and then a rebuilding, probably one of those three-story uh, mini mansions. But this is the first floor system. Is these plywood I-beams with this chipboard. Two by fours and a little chipboard plywood holding it together. So that's one of the, uh, you know, we see a home like that ranch that was built probably in the 60s and 50s. It was probably built with true uh, 
two by eights and the flooring system and we got these new places that are being built um, like this so just something to be aware of uh, we'll just briefly go over some of the highlights uh, nice neck uh, neighborhood and here we go we have 155 approximately 155 single-family dwellings wood frame predominantly thousand to five thousand square foot approximately 300 neighbors living up there predominantly seasonal uh, the main roads are coming up at least in the point road we've got wild harbor road and then point road on the end and in nye's neck we have uh, main entry road downer westwood those are the uh, the biggies main entry going in downer the first left off a of main entry and then westward all the way up the top have uh, sunset point overhill and lauren road we'll all remember of course that lauren road is blocked off west end court is a dead end arch road is a loop um, and uh, alden drive and then beach rose lane one of the things that I found that was slightly confusing about this neighborhood is that a lot of these roads uh, do loop around. There's only a couple of dead end roads. So you'll come up to one road and you think, oh, this is the one I'm going to take. Um, like Alden Drive comes in and then brings you right back out. You know, right back on the same road you started with, a little bit of a loop, so just something to make it a little bit more challenging. And that's our hydrant system, and I think our response times are pretty uh, self-explanatory. And once again, our travel distances from Station 3 is only 1.6 miles, so four minutes we should be able to get there. Station 4 is 5 miles, 8 to 10 minutes. Station 1 is almost 10, so you're looking at probably close to 15 minutes. And if one of those stations is busy, we're looking at 10 and a half miles from Station 5, which is only a half mile further than headquarters, but we don't have the uh, Route 28 highway, and then Station 3. So here's one of those, those uh, areas where Station 3 is going to get there in four minutes or so, three or four minutes and um, your second new engine is going to be three or four minutes later so you do have to um, grab that hydrant you do have to position yourself well you do have to give a good report and the officer will be there in, in 26 and 21 your third engine and 26 will be there probably 15 minutes later so if you're looking at a fire attack on some of these older homes you got to remember that you know you, how long it's been burning before you got there but the fact is that you're going to have 10 minutes more before your you know, ladder truck does come so that's it that about uh, wraps this session up uh, no one we're going to uh, work into the seascape neighborhood next week but that's it all right thank you very much Stay safe and eat healthy.